Okay, <laughs> no snow yet. We'll see if we get any inside the horseshoe, inside the horseshoe of East Tennessee. But y'all, y'all didn't tell me about this. What? Hey, Mama. Mama, what you doing, Mama? Okay, kiddos. Get those bellies full. Hey, Two Socks. Two Socks is coming in right there. Hey, Two Socks. Good job, everybody. Get in there, Mama. We are having fun. I love it. What'd you find? What are you doing? Uh, wait, hey, no, did you find eggs? Those crazy turkeys. No, you're not supposed to stand up on me. Help me spread it out. Okay, are you testing it out? How's it feel? How's it feel? All right, let's get this spread out for the goats now. Help me out, girlfriend. Good job. Good, 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 good. so cute. You're so cute. Mm. Oh, 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 and by the way, we got the backsplash done. We had to take a day off or a day and a half or so off from cooking. Mama took a break from cooking. It was real tough, y'all. And uh, let everything dry. We did use the Loctite and so far, so good. Okay, so I'm getting a lot of quail eggs right now for, for all my babies, okay? So we're get, bringing in up to 10 eggs a day. That's a really good omelet for me every day. And I'm thinking about putting some in the incubator soon, but here's the thing. So a lot of people that have quail always complain about how to use the quail eggs. Uh, yes, you can um, boil them, you can pickle them. Personally, my favorite way and always has been my favorite way to make them is to eat them just like a regular chicken egg or any other egg out there. It is to crack them open, make an omelet, put them in recipes. I think they are the best of all the eggs. They're my favorite. I like goose eggs as well. Duck and turkey are okay. The duck are fabulous for baking and cooking like cornbread or cakes or anything. You can't, du you can't, you can't duplicate that. And of course, nothing beats a good old fresh chicken egg, but my favorite is quail. But here's the thing, y'all, where have I been? Where have I been? I did not know this existed. Don't, I know you're, just go ahead and laugh at me. If you already knew, I did not know. Somebody mentioned about quail egg scissors on one of my videos and I looked at it and I went, what were they talking about? And I asked Gabriel, he goes, I don't know. They exist. It's a real thing. <laughs> so quail eggs are, I have the Coturnix and um, it takes about three to four to equal one chicken egg. So you're gonna have to crack open three or four of these babies, these little these little hush puppies, in order to you know get the same that you would from a, a you know a regular probably medium to large size chicken egg. So you gotta do some crack a lacking, right? Well, the problem is is they're very delicate. They're very delicate eggs, and they're beautiful though on the inside. A lot of them are like a Tiffany, almost like a Tiffany blue. But long story short, that's that's the downfall. Not anymore. So what I'm gonna do, and I've already filmed the other day with James. He helped me film because you you know obviously I have to use both hands, so I'll have to set up the camera. But you literally just take what I do is um, you just snip off the top of the um, more pointed end, and the yolk has more rested down into the egg, and so it's like you just pop this off and pour it out. 
Most of the time, the yolk stays completely intact. It just depends on taking your time and making sure it's down. And so what if you crack a yolk? It doesn't mean it's any less yummier. So I'm gonna make probably a six to eight egg little omelet or just fry them up. I just put a little cheese on it, have some avocado. Quick breakfast, I'm telling you, you've not tasted ultimate food, homegrown food, unless you literally have had quail eggs. So you can see right here, it's literally just going to, it's like a little ax and it comes down and it's just going to slice off. Now you're gonna hold it this way though, see? It's gonna come right in, see it? And just take off the top of the egg, just like so. Ooh, lots of white. And then, look. Boop. So then, there is the actual, if it can come into focus, you can see the top. There's the egg, or there's the shell, the main body of the shell. And then here's just this little, it's like a little hat. <laughs> So what I want you to see inside here is a lot of my eggs are actually fertilized. Do you see that little white spot? If you get really, really close, you're going to notice that it looks like a bullseye. Like, like you're going to Target, girls. Get your yoga pants on. Get your Starbucks. But what that means is, is if I put these eggs inside the incubator, most likely I'm going to get some fresh, beautiful little quail babies. All right, so I'm heating up my cast iron, my little mini, mini cast iron. I'm just gonna fry these eggs up, folks. We're just gonna move fast. So this is what we got. Easy peasy, you can see the inside. See how it's just slightly tinted, a Tiffany, kind of a Tiffany bluish green, so pretty. And then there are the eggs. And yes, you can see some of the bullseye. You can even see a little tiny blood spot on one of the eggs. That means it is super, super fresh. Just whip it up and pour it in. All right, guys, we hope you are warm and safe. The storms are coming through. We'll see if we get snow later. We'll be all right. But I wanted to show you this. If you have quail eggs and you don't have these little scissors, get you a pair. It is life changing and you can enjoy so much more of your farm fresh food so much quicker and so much easier. I'll put a link below. I got mine on Amazon. They had several different pair and um, you could actually get some where you got a whole set. So I tried just one out and so far, very high success rate. Y'all stay safe, stay warm, and we'll see you on the next video.